person who is wealthy. You go to them and say, please, can you give me $10 for this cause or for that cause? And they take out $20 and they give it to you. It doesn't mean that you worshipped them. It simply means you asked them to give you something you knew that physically Allah has given them. It was clear and manifest to the whole world that this person is able and capable within what Allah has given them to give you that. And that's why Allah says, وَآتُوهُمْ مِنْ مَالِ اللَّهِ الَّذِي آتَاكُمْ When Allah speaks about giving to the poor, Allah says, give them from the wealth that Allah has given you. That's what it is. Allah gave you, so give them. If Allah didn't give you, you didn't have to give them. And they wouldn't even come to you to ask. So why I say this is because Surah Al-Anbiya is a surah of the Qur'an where Allah Almighty makes mention of the needs of the prophets of Allah. Several prophets have been named in the surah with their names and they called out to Allah crying for their needs. Subhanallah. And if you take a look, all of the prophets had called out to Allah crying for their needs, weeping for Allah to do something that they wanted done. Now, if the prophets of Allah called out to Allah crying, surely we should be calling out to Allah weeping. Our needs are far, far greater in the sense that as, as lay human beings, the needs we have for us, there is nobody who is going to meet them besides Allah. So from that aspect, they're great. But obviously the prophets of Allah were asking more important things, definitely. They were asking, for example, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, may peace be upon him, was asking Allah to forgive his ummah, to forgive all of us. He was asking Allah for so many good things. He was asking Allah for all of us and on our behalf to give us this goodness and that goodness to guide the people. That's what he was asking Allah for. Oh Allah, Allahum mahdi qawmi fa innahum la ya'lamun. Oh Allah, guide my people. They don't know what they're doing. They're not listening and so on. Now, the personal needs of some of these prophets, Allah Almighty makes mention of them calling out to Allah. But a lot of the times you would find that what Allah makes mention of is actually the prayers these prophets made for their people. You and I, we make dua, we call out for ourselves. Big difference. And that's why you get used to calling out to Allah for others. Pray for others, not just for yourself. You want goodness just for yourself? Well, you need to understand that Allah Almighty will give you indeed. But at the same time, Allah Almighty would like you to call out to him for others as well. Oh Allah, help this person. Oh Allah, grant them cure. Allahumma shfihi. Allahumma afihi. Oh Allah, grant cure to him. Oh Allah, grant afiyah to him. The goodness, the holistic goodness, grant it to him or to her. And the angels will say, Oh Allah, give this person the same, if not better. So you call out to Allah, you call out for everyone. You call out for others. You even call out for your enemies to be guided, for their hearts to be softened and for the relationship to improve as a result of them being guided and their hearts being softened towards what is right and just. There it goes. So Allah Almighty speaks about these du'as and the supplications and he has made mention of them so none of us become arrogant to say, I don't want to call out to Allah. 